East versus West. It's Seaford versus Stevens Point, and now we go now to Seaford in our listen to UCS for the today's broadcast. Late evening baseball here on YouTube. Ought to be a good one between the contestants, Seaford Warriors and the Stevens Point Pork U Pines. It's Warriors baseball here on YouTube, and it comes your way next. Speaking about the Seaford Warriors and the Stevens Point uh, Porcupines, the Porcupines are the best offensive team in the league, and the Seaford Warriors are the best offensive, uh, best defensive team in the league. So, if both teams are in a good shape today, it would be a very interesting game of baseball. That's for sure. But if one of the teams are, are not good in shape today, may one of the team would get creamed in the today's game. I'm speaking from experience because the last few games the last few games we have seen that one of the team has got a bad day and uh, got dominated from their opponents. I'm not kidding, that's just fact. And uh, by the way We've had a comfortable temperature of 79 degrees Fahrenheit here in Seaford as the things get started. But now let's pay attention to the game. Lacey Salinger is the next one in the batter's box against Joan Malone. Here comes the delivery! And she falls off the ball to the right. Now it's time for the 01 pitch. And that will pitch right in the dirt. And um, if you ask me, that should call as a wild pitch. And now the score is even 1 to 1. The pitch. And she falls another ball off. And then we had a first strike and a first strike on in, in this game from Joe Malone. That's a first down for the Stevens Point Porcupines. Good decision on that pitch. And uh, yeah, it were a good cutting action it's, as well from her on that pitch. Now it's time for another better. And yeah, she falls off the ball to the left. Here comes another pitch. And she watches it fly by. So one one pitch. Whether that one and missed one two. Comes another pitch. A yeah, good decision from her to laying off that pitch. She will no need to s swing for it. Good vision from here as well. That that pitch from her a few moments ago wouldn't get into this strike soon. 3-2 and one more ball and she would get the whistle for the walk. And the base up, the base hit up the middle and finds his way through and she's safe on first. Now we're bringing in Aubrey Benfield. Let's see what she's got. John Malone has shoes her spot and uh, that ball got pretty well struck into the right deep center field. 
and um, she has made her way on the first plate, and um, yeah, they've got the one on the third base right now. So, the, so there's a big time chance for the Stevens Point Porcupines to put the one on their scoreboard and get their team up in front early in the first inning. Here comes the delivery. And good decision from her to didn't go after that pitch. Here comes an, another delivery. And she wouldn't even need to swing for that pitch as well. 2-0. The pitch. Gets popped out in the air into the right deep center field. But the left fielder has made up the run towards the ball and has, has made her down. And it's at the end of the first half of the first inning, by the way. And now the Seaford Warriors are on the, on the bat. Here comes the delivery. And that, that one got, got bounced up and picked up from a f first baseman and um, yeah, it's made a throw in time to the first and that's the first down for the Seaford Warriors. Here comes another pitch. The bounce up in the middle, gloved by the shortstop. And yeah. He's make he's make looking the play so easy as they made the second down for the Seaford Warriors. Two down, nobody's out. I'm gonna bring up Robert Wasabi. Let's see what he's got. He gets the pitcher Brima Tushi. Great execution on the golf ball and um did you see that the curveball were coming out as a sinus curve from here a few moments ago? Maybe that's the case. And um, yeah, if your pitch would coming out as a sinus curve, it would. It's always difficult for the better to get a spot on it. Huh? Because most of the time, if you're about to swing for that pitch, uh, that comes like a sinus curve. The ball would will get underneath your bat. Uh. That's for sure. And that fact would make it very difficult for the better to get on the spot from that type of pitches that were coming out as a sinus curve. And now I see that um, we've already ended the first inning and um, we are already in the second. I didn't realize that. Sorry for that. And besides, one of his um, Stevens Point Porcupines better. It's made it on the first base. The hit got lifted in the air to the center field. 
and um, the center fielder hasn't thrown the ball back in time to the first plate, so they have a one on the loose. The Stevens point, Porcupines. And now it comes Joe Malone with another pitch, and that one got fall off to the left. Uh, to the right, sorry. 0-1, it's time for the 0-1 pitch. There were no need for her to swing for that pitch. 1-1. One, one. Comes the delivery. She falls another ball off. 1-2 right now. So delivery. And she falls another ball off over and over again. She falls off another ball over and over again. Balls up in the middle. Got gloved by the shortstop. And that's a double play from the Seaford Warriors. In other words, they were successful to make two players all at the same time. Now it's time for another better. Here comes the pitch. And she falls off the ball to the left. She or he falls off the ball to the right. Sorry. 0-1 right now. Here comes another pitch. This time he or she has fallen off the ball to the back. The pitch. And that were great execution. On that fast ball, the better. It's just run right through it. And, that's, and that were finally the third out for the Stevens Point Porcupines. And now the Warriors on the bat. And Taylor is the first better in his second inning. Line up two shots and a throw back in time. First down for the uh, Seaford Warriors here in this inning. Let's turn for another better. Comes the pitch from Bremer to she. And the pitch right up in the dirt. And yeah, like I said to you before, if you ask me, she called it pitch as a wild pitch. She counted that pitch as a wild pitch, sorry. We have to change up and miss that one. First strike against her. Comes another pitch. And as we watch that type of and as we watch that type of pitch got a little bit too low. So it's now two to one. The pitch. That one has missed the right button. The right button corner of a strike soon. Three one right now. One more ball and Julie will get the whistle for the walk. The pitch. Then we got that fall off to the to the right. And that's finally the whistle for the walk. Uh, four bad throws, and you will pay the price. And it's always credit for the better if you throw four bad pitches. Because, yeah, if you throw four, four bad pitches, the better isn't the need to, to, do, to do anything. Uh -huh. So that's why it's always a pleasure for the better. Uh -huh. And that one got hit in the dirt. That pitch got in the dirt again. And, um, yeah, 
This deceiver better that away on the first a few moments ago has used the mishap and um, has made away on the second. High fly ball. A pretty well struck on the right, but um, no issue for the right fielder to bring it in. And nail the second down for the Seaford Warriors. Now it's Kim Crawford's turn. The pitch and follow through the back. Oh one, the pitch, and that one got right through the legs of the of the catcher. What a shame! And yeah, due to the mishap, the one on the second on the second plate a few moments ago has used the mishap and has made. His way on the third. Uh, so they now have got the big time chance to get an elite in the second inning. Comes the pitch, got fall off to the right. The pitch! That's the third out for this Seaford Warriors. So the Stevens Ball Porcupines has successfully prevent. They have made their first. Point in the second inning, and I'm talking about the Seaford Warriors. And now, let's get into the third. The pitch from John Malone. And yeah, no need to swing for that pitch. She's seen that that pitch would get into the strike soon, a few moments ago. Now it's time for the 1 0 pitch. Line up to short. And she'd make. And she didn't make it in time on the first plate. First down in the third inning for the Stevens Point Porcupines. And now Valerie Wishart is coming next. Comes next to Valerie Wishart. Here comes the pitch. That one gets out of target. 1 0. The pitch, this one pulled down the right line, it's hammered. Kim Crawford jumps right into it and makes the catch. He's out! Wow, what a tremendous catch from Kim Crawford. Look at it in the replay. She just followed the trajectory of the ball with her eyes. And makes the catch in order to make her down. Wow, what an effort from her and what the heck of a vision she's got to see the dead ball was still into the infield. We haven't seen it that often in amateur baseball, that's for sure. So now here comes the delivery. She watches that fly by. The pitch. Delivery. There's another delivery and another ball right right up into the dirt. Another pitch right up in the dirt, sorry. Three to one. And um yeah. One more ball and he will get the whistle for the walk. It's not the case that we're one of her better pitches. She didn't even she didn't even try it. To pull up for that pitch. Because I think that she, because I think she knew that she wouldn't get have a chance to get on that spot. But this time, she has hit a spot from 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 the pitch of Joan Malone, and he got lifted in the air into the 
left deep center field and um, she's finally made her way on the first base. I'm gonna bring up Maddie Rooney. The pitch! I fly ball and uh, pretty well struck at the right field. And that could be the first score for the Stevens Point Porcupines here in this game. And that's the case. And I've got also one. And the other one got out. He just tried to get. He just tried to get on the third base by the nick, by the nick of time, but uh, it went sufficient at the end, yeah. Yeah. And now the Seaford Warriors are on the bat, and yeah, by the way, it's now one nothing for the Stevens Point Porcupines. Now it's Bima Toshit's turn for the pitch. And she watched that fly by. We we're definitely seeing able that that type of pitch wouldn't get into the strike zone. Good vision from the better of the Seaford Warriors. One one right now. The pitch. Line up to short. And the flow back in time. Two first. One down for the Seaford Warriors. Time for another better. Here comes the pitch. Yeah. Another lineup. Too short. Got picked up from a shortstop. And it's finally the second down for the Seaford Boys here in this inning. Now it's time for Claire in the batter's box. Rima Tushi, let's choose the target. So now let's go. She has hit the spot, but she has fouled off the ball to the right. Bounce up the middle. Gloved by. The bounce up in the middle, gloved by the shortstop. And yeah. They make look in the place so easy. As they made it down for the, as they made it down for the end of the third, for the of the third inning. Now we get on the bottom of the fourth. Here comes the pitch. She's tried. She she's tried to go after the changeup, but um, she came up empty on that changeup pitch. And that means it's now a one. Here comes the delivery. Good choice. Who didn't go after that pitch? Good vision from here as well to see that that type of pitch wouldn't get into the strike zone or wouldn't miss the strike zone. But now that we're one of her better pitches. From Joan Malone, zero chance to hit that one this time. First out for the Seafront Porcupines. We'll bring up Alex Chu against Joan Malone. The pitch.
And that one has missed the upper area of a strike zone 1 0. Comes another pitch. That's the first strike against her. She didn't even try it to pull up for that pitch because I think that she knew that she wouldn't hit the target of a pitch a few moments ago. No, it's time for a two-one pitch. The bounce up in the middle got the bounce up on the left ins left infield got gloved by the shortstop and the throw back to the first came in time so second down for the Stevens one porcupines. Here comes the pitch. Yeah, that pitch got uh, a little bit too low and um, we were always, we always given the better some credit if the if you set up your pitch a little bit too low. Uh, because that means the better can lay off that pitch. And there's no need to, to do anything. That's for sure. You know, it's Estri Stanislavski's turn here in the batter's box. The pitch. Oh, and that out came out very, very fast. Very, very fast, ladies and gentlemen. The ball just got literally back to her right away. What a shame. And speaking about what a shame. I think that this, that this situation will get into the top 10 of the fastest downs in DCI Baseball. Now it's Wendy's, Wendy Plotsky's turn. Against Prima Tushi. Got popped up in the air. Into the center field. But directly towards the center field and yeah, what should I say? It ran easier out. An easier out for them. So left. So they've always got their first down here in the fourth inning. Comes another pitch. And yeah. you're seeing that that type of pitch wouldn't get into the strike zone so it's just laying off that pitch 1-0 line up too short but uh, a, sh a shortstop has struggled to pick the ball up but um, on the other hand he has managed to throw the ball back in time to the first plate, so second down for the Seaford Warriors. And now it's Taylor's turn. With an attempt to hit the spot of one of her pitches. Got water in the air, left field. And um Two to the one from a shortstop that he's made. They're finally down by three and it has signified the end of the fourth inning as well. And now we're getting on the bottom of the fifth inning. John, John Malone is up with a pitch. Line up too short. And the first down for the Seaford's Point Porcupines. Easy out for the Seaford Warriors, by the way. Now 
Now it's time for Prima Tucci against Joe Malone. Here comes the pitch. And we're going to fall off to the back. Now it's time for the one pitch. Not that much of a chance to hit this one, so she didn't even try to pull up for that pitch. Because of the fact that I think that she she wouldn't came empty on on that pitch a few moments ago. The pitch, line to the middle, it's down the base head, no, it's not, because center fielder we are capable to make the catch in the air, to make up a catch in the air, and that means that the Seaford voice are on the bed right now. It's Prima Tucci. Here comes Prima Tucci with a, with a, with a pitch. And the curveball went out of target 1 0. Here comes another delivery. And it was still in the infield. But um, they've managed to make it out by the nick of time. We're very close. Very close. Here comes another delivery. Got popped, in, got popped up in the air. Left deep center field. And the one that the center fielder has made. They're now down by two. The Seaford Warriors. Now it's Kim Crawford's turn. It's a delivery. We need to swing for that pitch. We were definitely seeing the ball. But if it wouldn't get into the strike zone. Oh one right now. It's a delivery. But popped up and down on the ground into the left seat in the left deep center field. But on the other hand, the double fit were strong enough to get on the first plate. So you have one one out and two down. The Seaford Warriors. The pitch. Got fall off to the left. There's another delivery. Very good decision to linger for that pitch. Yeah. She's got a great vision for that ball. To see that this ball wouldn't get into the strike zone a few moments ago. And now... They've made her down because of the fact that we hit the other not that strong enough to get on the first plate. And um, now we get on the bottom of a sixth inning, I guess, the last inning in this game. And the Seaford Porcupines are still in the lead with one to nothing. So it's a very thrilled game here in Seaford. Would the Stevens Point Porcupines will keep up their lead? Or will the Seaford Warriors 
catch up two runs in order to win this game. The moment of truth has arrived right now. The pitch! Foul off to the left, uh, to the right, sorry. Now it's time for the one two pitch. Another fed him first out in the sixth inning by three strikes. Now it's Medi, Medi Rooney's turn. The pitch. Another lineup too short. And then, and she didn't make it in time to reach the first plate. Second down for the Stevens Point Porcupines. Now it's a turn of Avery Benfield. The batter's box against Joan Malone. Yeah, and that sinker ball uh, doesn't go well. It didn't hit the target. 1-0. Comes another pitch. Here comes another delivery. And everyone got a little bit too low. Good decision to laying off for that pitch. So it's now 2-0. A uh, 3 -0, sorry. And one more ball. And Opie Bentley will get the whistle for the walk. The pitch. She tried to pull up for the sinker ball, but she has just swung through it. She has just swung through it. Free run right now. Here comes the pitch. This one's blasted on his way back. And gone! What the heck? Where did that hit come from? Lick my... Oh, sorry, guys. I don't say it. Sorry for the language. But anyways, Opie Benfield has made a home run. With a, with a distance of 403 feet and a, another, and another one comes in to score for the Stevens Point Porcupines. 2 0 lead for them right now. That's what I call girl power. Girl power here in baseball. She just stayed in the zone or in the box, kept the bat up high for that fastball and just Hold her bat in the box for a long time. Absolutely clobber it. That pitch from Aubrey Benfield. And now that has found its way through. And that's a and that's a base hit. Two down and one is out. And one is out there. Into the corner and slicing foul. The pitch. That one got that one went off target one two right now. Here comes another pitch. Got popped in the got popped in the air left left field. Got no problem for the left fielder to, to uh, make a catch in the air. And now it's time it's time. For the Seaford Warriors. The Seaford Porcupines are now in the lead with 2 0. If they make three outs, they would win this game. 
Lift it in the air and bounce up on the ground. And drop onto the ground into the, into the center field. But it were enough for him to make his way on the first plate. The pitch. is go after her pitch, but it comes up empty. 1-1. One, one. It comes another pitch. Line up too short. And in double play. Yeah, not in double play for the Seaford Warriors. It went near from double play, but um, yeah. The runner it is, has made his way on the first plate by the nick of time. But, but just the nick of time. So they've got. So they have a runner on the loose. That one. Ah! That one went too short, and um, yeah, they have. And they have used it to make up a double play for the victory. Congratulations for the Stevens Point Porcupines. They, def they have defeated this Seaford Warriors with two runs to nil. It were a thrilling matchup, that's for sure. But in the end, this um, Stevens Point Porcupines were a little bit better than the Seaford Warriors. And um, yeah, due to, due to that, they have deserved the victory. The victory is justified for them. They deserved it. Yeah. And last but not least, I will put the stats from all our Disney baseball teams right here in the video. And besides, that today's result is already included in the stats. Take care and goodbye.